I've always been involved in natural dyeing and extracting colour from plants. I've always loved uh, creating my own clothing. Botanical printing was a new realm of discovery where I was able to put together all of those things that I'd learned into one form of practice and really take that into a direction that was uniquely my own. And I found an emperor gum moth and I thought, oh, an emperor moth. I wonder if there's such a thing as an emperor moth because a lot of my work is a mirror image like the moth's wings and also they're impressed, the leaves are pressed onto the fabric so there's a lot of nice little nuances there that are just fitted beautifully. As a creative person you're constantly um, problem solving, you know it's very alchemical in terms of mixing things and mixing colours and working with different leaves and different processes to find the way that the plants like to talk to each other. I find really nice quality secondhand garments. I add then my own colour palette and I print them with leaves and then that garment now becomes special and precious and handmade and full of plant goodness. There's no guidebook for me to follow. I'm reliant on myself for problem solving and troubleshooting and figuring out how to get where I need to be. If somebody wears my work who has a lot of visitors to their page already, that helps me grow in this beautiful, organic, but sometimes huge way that I just wouldn't get if I set myself up at a market stall on the streets of Blenheim. Big countries, say America, have a lot of fast fashion, so they just don't see secondhand linen dresses. And so I'm well received over there. I'm taking what has been thrown out. I'm giving it a whole new lease of life. I'm gathering leaves really sustainably. Everything that goes into how I produce what I produce, is, it's all of the earth. There is a huge appreciation for what it is that I'm offering. And I'd like to be able to open that space up to sharing the knowledge, the power and the potency of this plant magic.